Senator, I'm finished. Yeah. Senator Boyer. Honorable Senators, I would like to pay tribute to Senator Lillian Dick, a person who laid the groundwork for a better future for Indigenous women. When Senator Dick was called to the Senate, she immediately recognized the need for diversity in the upper chamber and believed it was her duty to accept it. She wasn't afraid to take on this role and to become the change that she wanted to see. Senator Dick was the first woman from a First Nation and the first Canadian born person of Chinese descent to be appointed to the Senate. Now she's also the first Indigenous woman to retire from the Senate. She has rightfully earned the title of Trailblazer. For over 15 years, Senator Dick has represented the province of Saskatchewan, my home province, and has been an outspoken advocate for human rights, particularly the rights of Indigenous women and Chinese Canadians. She pushed against racist laws that discriminated against Chinese people and fought for stiffer penalties in domestic violence cases involving Indigenous women. She was also involved in the passing of Bill S-3, a bill that addressed the sex-based inequalities of the Indian Act and allowed Indigenous women to pass their status onto their children. She chaired the Senate Committee on Aboriginal Peoples from 2015 to 2019 and has advocated for better education for Indigenous students. For the past 10 years, she has tirelessly fought for justice for missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls and their families. She has accomplished great things, but she also had to overcome many barriers. As a woman of both Chi of Cree and Chinese descent, Lillian Dick has endured sexism and racism throughout her life. She remembers her mother telling her not to tell anyone that she was Indigenous, not to visit Gordon's First Nation, and to forget about them. Her life story has inspired many, including Indigenous playwright Kenneth Williams, who wrote the play Cafe Daughter to honour her journey and raise public awareness of the difficult realities faced by Indigenous people and Chinese Canadians. Senator Dick's identity as a Cree Chinese Canadian woman was once regarded as an obstacle, but now we see it gave her an incredible, unique voice. She reminds us that the Senate should be a place where different perspectives are represented and valued, where sober second thought really means including everyone. Senator Dick once said, you don't just live for yourself, you live for those around you. What an example you have set, my friend, and in doing so, you have led us all towards a brighter future. Thank you for your incredible contributions to the Senate of Canada. May Oma Chi Hoin, good health, and travel safely, Senator Dick. May Gwech Marcy, merci, thank you.